Alright, so hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Going Medieval. So, um, for today's episode here, I think we are finally going to build ourselves a castle. Last time I said that we go ahead and build ourselves a castle, we never really got around to it. And we also fought this massive battle where our castle probably would have been very helpful. Um, but we didn't have one. So, this time I'd really like to at least start uh, the foundations of a castle. So that's what the main uh, thing here, that's what we're going to do for this episode here. So it looks like some people are wounded and people aren't unhappy, probably because, um, why are you chilling? How are you? Bro, how is this guy chilly? He's, it's summer. Uh, anyway, um, yes, that's what we're gonna do today's episode here, so I hope you do enjoy, um, and let's go ahead and just get right on into it here. Okay, so for starters here, we're gonna start chopping down some trees, again, to get some some wood, so that then we can have the woods, you know, build the walls, and all that jazz here. So, uh, I think the walls are probably gonna be just, yeah, the wooden walls. <laughs> it's just gonna be the wooden walls. Something you make like your houses out of is just gonna be this stuff, just as like a more perimeter barrier type thing. So I think uh, we already do have some stocked up. Um, if we go in here and look in our the sources pile, I do not see any wood. We even have wood? Uh, I mean, maybe we do, I don't know. Uh, or, should we make them out of limestone? Well, we don't have any limestone. We'll start off with wood, uh, and then we will upgrade to uh, limestone. Alright, so uh, I have a little bit of a rough layout here of what we're going to be making out of wood. So, we have... Over here, this is where I started with this um, little dirt mount here that we're going to use to our advantage. We're going to keep this, uh, and this is going to be kind of a little upper area here that people can use. I also plan on putting in either a staircase or just like a slope or something so that people can run up here, and then they can use this uh, as a position. Uh, then the walls continue over here. I made sure not to cover up any of this coal. I believe this is all coal. Uh... So that then we can still mine it if we need to. So it is around here. We had to move. We had to push it out just a little bit here, just so that then we could, because uh, those things were there. So uh, right now I'm just gonna go in and get a um, couple of graves just going. Um. Yeah. There you go. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna get a couple of those, even though I would prefer it if we burned the bodies instead. Uh. But then we continue along this way here. Now, I think these walls are probably going to end up covering some clay, uh, but it should be fine. Uh, then the walls continue here. They come over here, and then they stop, uh, and then it continues all the way down to here. Now, this is the area where I kind of got a little bit of a problem. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff over here, a whole lot of farms and our animal pen uh, and a lot of our trees and stuff. So that's kind of where... I've stopped for now, so this should cover most of it, and then obviously this little, this is a pretty small area, so it should be kind of, it should be pretty easy to make sure that this area isn't too much of a problem. Now, um, over here, we might also want to build perimeter walls to, like, to guard this area. Now, of course, no one's going to be able to come up here unless there's a slope, which we will have to decide what we're going to do about these things uh, over here, because you can't get rid of them. Uh, so the only way we're going to be able to really make it so that then they, they can't use it is by putting in the soil here. Humankind has been gathering and moving dirt earth around for millennia. Yeah, so basically we're just going to have to block off the entire entranceway with this with these things here. Because you can't place stuff like in here. Like you can't place it there. I also need to figure out where I'm going to get this dirt from. Because it wouldn't make any sense really to like, dig a hole in the ground just to put it over here. I mean, I guess that's how, what we're gonna end up doing. But that's kind of what, uh, 
the start of stuff is looking like here. People are still unhappy. They're still chilly for some reason. Um, I don't, I don't know why they're chilly. Like, I can't, I can't, I don't. How are you cold? It is a hundred degrees out here, people. hundred degrees. People are gonna probably die of heat stroke. I mean, like, it's a hundred degrees. You can't be telling me that you're cold. We're gonna go in here and see if we can't tame this animal here. Or are you too hug- are you, you too- He's thirsty. Well, Mance is knocked out, so of course he's kind of annoyed. Here, we've started building over here. People are suffering, especially Duncan. He's hot. Okay, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> Mushroom has decomposed. Are we... Why is nobody making anything? Just make some stuff. Is anyone's job to cook? Does anyone like cooking? A couple of people like cooking. They just have other stuff that they're doing. Uh, cooking. So you, you should start cooking. You should also start cooking. I, I just... I need some stuff to start cooking, guys. I just... I have a lot of stuff, okay? Needs all be cooked. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cut recording for another little bit here, and I will be back. Um, maybe with a little bit more of a finished, uh, product here for the walls, or if anything interesting happens. Okay, so a lot of our carrots here are rotting and becoming vegetable rot, which is annoying. Um, I've also finished up the wall layout here, so there's walls here, uh, and I've kind of finished out this area of wall here. So it should be most of the walls, basically finished out so there is a little gateway here so that people can you know get out of this area um so there are two of those areas here and this one is where our farm is so i kind of i haven't really thought about i think we're just going to block it off but i haven't really thought about what we're going to do for that just yet um but yeah it's basically what's uh been going down here we just need some more um, we, uh, we just need some more, oh, all our carrots are rotting. <laughs> just probably need some more wood. Uh, yeah, uh, pretty much all our carrots have rotted on the stockpile, which is annoying. I guess, I think I have too much stuff that needs to be done, and that's why nothing ever really gets done, because, like, look at, look at this. Like, we need somebody to just be a hauler. Someone who just w runs around hauling stuff. Like, yeah, here. I'll get two people. Two people going on just running around throwing stuff in the stockpiles. Let's go ahead here and check out the research. I think we wait till 75 or 575 until we do our next one here. So we continue building up all the walls. <clears throat> it's looking pretty cool. Especially, I like this part. I think that looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, we're finally doing it, people. Uh, I also th I also think that we're gonna want to build up like a a tower, like some towers of some sort. Uh, oh, someone is unconscious. It's no bueno. Oh, Duncan's unconscious now. Damn it. Everyone's gone unconscious now. <laughs> oh, Ellis is unconscious. No. Okay. I think we need people to start <clears throat> spending more time inside. So I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna make a lot of this leash like just do whatever you want. I mean, no. so spend a whole bunch of time on the, on the inside here. Which is gonna mean that nothing really ever gets done, but whatever. There, so they should have a little bit more work, and then they should be able to go inside. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so one thing that I just uh, figured out here is, uh, if you get honey, you can actually make bed out of honey here. So, if we can get beekeeping, that might be the next thing we do. If we get beekeeping, then we can make 
more drinks for our people instead of just needing the uh, the red currant. Of course, it is, it's not just red currant though. It's also it, also, it just says fruit. So uh, I just I choose red currant as the main one, but I guess it could really be anything. I'm also making progress on the walls here. Uh, I don't know if it's too substantial to what we had last time, but... Uh, so what we're going to do now here is I'm actually going to make it so that... People go to work early in the morning, so probably like, what, 3? I know that's really early in the morning, but still. So they'll wake up and they'll have a bit of leisure time from 3, and then they'll work from here. Then they'll have the rest of this time to take a nap. And then they'll go outside at 13, and then they'll go back inside, and then they're going to work... Till, till there. So then they're actually going to spend most of their time asleep. <clears throat> so I think that's what we're going to do for the next uh, thing here. All right, so of course, right as I make a schedule to fit the heat wave, the heat wave ends. So I went ahead and fixed the schedule. This is about what it looks like here. They get eight hours of sleep every night. They have three, uh, they have four hours of leisure time every day, and then they work pretty much the entire rest of the time. So they are going to spend more time doing work than anything else, really, but that's what you like to see. It's decomposed. Oh, well, shoot, that's not good. Do not like to see that. I believe this one is mature now, so I'll go ahead and chop that tree down. Uh, now, of course, we are going to need to... I think I'm actually going to go ahead and make some gates here, because I did not make any gates. I just kind of plotted out a wall. So, uh, we'll make the gates three wide. So, there's going to be one there. And there's going to be one here. And we'll put one here. Which is unfortunate that I like to destroy some wall that we've already made, but it's fine. Let's go and see how many seeds we have here. So... Um, seven, eighteen oak seeds. So we're gonna go ahead here and start another little. We're gonna put nine out right there, just so we can use the extra stuff. And then there, so see, look, our little castle is doing pretty well here. So she became a castle here. So she becoming a castle, I guess. I don't know. Still making helmets. Where did all our rotting food go then? <laughs> did it just disintegrate? Where do we put it? Okay. Uh, uh, Rangy Hawker empties their pack. Spending selection, uh, blah, 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 buy some stuff, get fancy, get the final figure, okay. Cool. Why are we putting rotting stuff in here? Okay, yeah, no. Is there anything less than, I guess, 3%? I don't know, I don't want any rotting stuff on our shelves, people. Um, also, we might go ahead here and make use of this upstairs. Who well, no, maybe we won't do that. But we'll make we'll make use of up here. And I think we go ahead and put some shelves in up here to hold extra food. And up here is a little more enclosed than down there. So it should mean that the food stays good for longer amounts of time. So we're going here and make a big storage system there. Only nine for now, but we will probably change it. All right, there's also a merchant. Why are you mad? Oh no! Oh, you're thirsty. Who's wounded? He is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, I guess that answers my question. Here, you. Go barter with this guy. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Okay, so he's got himself apple pies. You might want to buy some of those apple saplings for trees. Uh, he has one. Not really that helpful, gonna be honest. 
um, and cabbage seeds. We might want to buy some of these and carrot seeds. Yeah, we might want to buy a couple of those. Flax. Okay, I might want to buy that. That's some herbs. What does this guy have? Wine. Oh, are we out of wine? Just as a wolf. Um. I'm going to take all your wine. Because it's literally like all you have. Um. Now we'll go to the animal feed. And we'll, we'll give you. There. Yay. So take your five wine and you get some animal feed. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Um. I mean, it's a bit of a problem though that we don't have a lot of. Do we have any red current? This stuff doesn't use red current, does it? Where is it? Okay, no, it doesn't. No. Okay, now that doesn't. When we get some red current, people, we need, we need to make sure it's making. Some fermenting fruit juice. Probably my favorite thing ever in this game. But it's true. I want to build one of these two just so that we can get our people up here. So then they can, you know, go ahead and uh, be able to look up there. That's a lot of iron. That's a hundred iron. Why has nobody come to claim that? Um, apparently I can make about 200 of this or so. Just take, it takes 30. How much do we have? 100, that's about 30 to make. You look at all the math. 50 here. 50 here. And so what, it's 30 to make what? 30? So, 30 sets 90, another 90, it's like almost 200 we can make. It's pretty good, and iron ingots are pretty valuable, so that'll actually be pretty decent there for us to get. Unfortunately, our decent clothes are starting to decompose, which is annoying. Alright, I'll go ahead and cut to the next... Alright, so it is the next morning here, and um, I, I saw some great helms over here, so I gave Ordric and Jeva the great helms. Now they're gonna have some pretty awesome looking helmets. Uh, also, we're nearly done with the walls here, which is pretty exciting. We have only a couple more here, a couple more there, one here, and other than that, I'm pretty sure that's that. So we have pretty much completed. Um, the walls for our settlement. It looks really epic. Um, so now what we probably want to do, uh, either this video or next, next video, is probably start setting up some traps of some sort to put outside of here. Because we got wooden traps, stick traps, um, some stockades. Um, just gonna, I'm just going to put a couple like stuff like here or something so then you can have people stand behind them so that'd be pretty cool so that's what we're probably going to do either this video or next video uh i guess we'll have to decide a bit as soon here so we probably are coming up on the time limit for this video uh, i'm not entirely sure i've been cutting a lot more and especially this video how much food do we have Eighty-three. Hmm. Can we get some more? Our cabbage is still growing. The thing is still growing. Is there any animals around that we can maybe go hunt? So that then we don't die of starvation.
uh, it's nothing good for us. <laughs> um, hmm. You would think by now we'd have a sustainable food system. It's not that we don't, it's just... I mean, we don't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um... Well, maybe we pause it on the uh, animal feed there just a little bit. <laughs> we start making more meals for you know the human beings in this <laughs> in this area. Cause I think a ton of it went to the animal. F I think I kind of overproduced animal feed or just a little bit, you know, just a wee bit there. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Your what happened? Oh, a minor concussion. Okay. Guess if it's that, it's fine. You actually have a valid reason. Um, yeah, but there aren't any animals, really. I think we'll have to go somewhere. I'm gonna send off a caravan. Uh, so Brent is hauling to a stockpile. I don't know what he's doing. Is he bringing hay to a stockpile? Better not be bringing hay, boy. He brought some hay with him. Okay, um, we're gonna send off a caravan here. So, how do I do that? Come here. That's how we do it. Um. 6 at 13. 75. We'll send off a. Uh, why don't you go close? I think this is the Kingdom of York. So, we'll go off here. We want a close one close by to us. Um. And we're gonna send Brent, because he's always really annoyed. Uh, and we're also gonna go ahead here and send him a couple of animals. We'll send him. Pan and Chambi, so that then we can carry more stuff. Uh, and what you're gonna bring with you is you're gonna bring a whole lot of this stuff to sell. Um, then you're also probably gonna want some food. Even though we're going here to get food, but still, I'm gonna give you two food, two red currant pies. Uh, and a cup, two roasted meat. And other than that, uh, I have some weapons here that we'll see if we can't sell them. I shall keep that one. Uh, and yeah, we'll go and send them off. And yeah, that's gonna be that. Yep. Alright, so I just realized here that we have 600 Chronicles out of the 555, so we can actually r research something. So, I think we're going to get beekeeping unlocked here because, uh, again, we can make med and we're probably going to want to do that here. So, we can make a skep, which I guess is what keeps the, the bees in it, you know? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to go and do that. We'll put it back here because no one likes bees. Um, put two right there, and that'll just be that. Um, I think we did pretty good here. So I think that might be all the time that we have for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy and want to see more, then hit that like button. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.